everybody and welcome to a new video on the Flowable YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Patrick, I'm part of the solutions team at Flowable, so I really work closely with customers to figure out the best way to leverage the Flowable platform. One question that pops up from time to time is around the Flowable Enterprise version compared to the Flowable Open Source version. And to figure out, figure out what this means on a technical level, I'm very excited to have Valentin Signer here today, a part of the product team, who can hopefully shed some light on this exact discussion. So Valentin, just to give a quick overview, we have the Flowable Open Source Project and the Flowable Enterprise Platform. How exactly do they relate to each other mm -hmm. and what are the main differences? Okay, maybe we start with Flowable Open Source. In Flowable Open Source, we have three different we call them engines, but it's basically three different features or main features. It's the business process management notation, so BPMN, and in there we can execute processes. Then we have the cases, so CMMN, it's another standard where we have an engine executing those. And then we have DMN for decision services and decision tables. Now those are all bundled, uh, give the core of flowable uh, itself. So that is our open source uh, module which we basically have available as Maven dependencies and as well it's also integrated in Flowable Enterprise. So that is a part of Flowable Enterprise as well. Okay, I see. So the open source version really is the, the main Java artifacts, um, the low level implementations and so on. Um, and then the Flowable Enterprise platform is built on top of that. Um, what are some examples of additional enterprise features that customers might get? So, additionally to what they get already with the open source version, which is basically the engine and you summarize that correct, uh, are low-code uh, capabilities. So in there you have the possibility to build out everything around your processes and cases as well. That not only gives you some user interfaces for modeling, I mean you can use global design in the trial as well uh, for the open source versions. It's hosted on our side. When you are going to the, uh, use the enterprise product, you can also install it on your own servers and have the full uh, control over your data there as well. Now, that is one thing with the user interfaces. We also have enterprise security, so you can do all the security configurations which we have over there. Uh, we have audibility in the system, reporting, we have a lot of different integrations, connectors to use, for example, uh, REST interfaces with the service registry, as well as also uh, some event-based or message-based interfaces. Uh, we have a uh, WhatsApp and WeChat integration, and the list is really long. I mean, it continues with uh, uh, content uh, generation and also content management. But last and not least, there's also the support which we offer. I mean, for open source, we have an active community. They are helping you as well. But for enterprise, you also have the enterprise support with SLAs behind your requests as well. Okay, so my understanding is that the open source version is a low-level implementation that might be a good fit if you want to do a lot of implementations yourself on your side to ensure, for example, security and so on. Um, but out of the box, the enterprise platform comes with additional features that are helpful for larger enterprises. Is that right? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, the open source uh, applications that you can use for your spare time project when you are getting started with something, but when you really would like to get the full capabilities and feature out of it, then you should use the enterprise version. Okay. So let's think about a use case where somebody is already using the global open source version and then thinks about migrating to the enterprise platform just to make use of those additional yeah. features that you mentioned. Is that complicated? At the end, it's not complicated since the core of the global enterprise software is also global open source. So at the end, everything around business processes, cases and forms, and not forms, sorry, decisions, is basically part of the open source library. So when you go ahead and say you upgrade, you can use them, even your runtime data, as is, I mean, with the additional security, you need to check that everybody still has permissions to everything and you can start building later on the stuff around it. But in general, you can even boot up with the same database uh, for those specific things, for some other tables which might be there, you will need to go ahead and uh, at the end uh, consider how you are doing that since, for example, when you have had kind of uh, content items or forms in your open source, 
then they do not directly work uh, in the enterprise version as well. So here you would need to do some conversion. But variables, business processes, cases, and all of that, they will just work uh, as they are. Okay. So I see. So in theory, a two-stage approach is possible where we do a lift and shift first to make sure that everything that was done on open source still works on the enterprise platform. Just some small adaptations probably needed. And then you can really start and get going with the enterprise platform, make use of those additional features. Exactly. So you can do it step by step. You don't need to do everything at the same time. And with that, you can be really efficient then in migrating as well. Amazing. Now, you've already mentioned uh, some of the additional enterprise features. For somebody that wants mm -hmm. to try this out and see everything that is included, what would be the, the best approach there? I think there are two approaches. First of all, you can just go to trial.flowable.com. There you have a um, trial for 30 days where you can play around with it. You can also look at our e-learning which we have there. We have a lot of YouTube videos here on that channel as well. But you can also simply just reach out to our sales team. They are happy to help you as well uh, with the trial, showing you all those different features and get you started. Perfect. That sounds like a really good overview. Thanks so much for clarifying a lot of technical details around open source versus enterprise and also for giving us a hint about potential next steps if we think about migration. It's really exciting to have you here, Martin. I'm very much looking forward to your next videos and I hope all of you enjoyed it as much as I did. See you soon.